What is up ladies and gentlemen, Doggone It here, back with another review. This one is going to be on a product from Black and & Mild. And if some of you remember from my previous uh, channel, the one that had all the rant and raves and everything else on it, as well as the reviews, I did uh, Black & Mild's Rhythm. It's the green label. It's the new, one of the two new flavors that they came out with. This one is going to be on their Blues uh, flavor. I was not at all happy with the Rhythm, the green one. It did not taste very well to me. I was very disappointed. And a product from Black & Mild, that, that's very weird. Because Black & Mild is by far one of the best uh, franchises. And they come out with exceptional, exceptional products. Except now. But, uh, I have not tried this Blues one, so let's give it a shot here. I lighter down. I just couldn't believe it, you know, trying that uh, that new flavor out and it just sucking. Because I missed out on their summer edition one that they had last year. Smells pretty good. Hmm. The dry puff tastes kind of creamy. Hmm. Maybe I'm in for a big surprise on this one. I hope so, because that green one sucked. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> really surprised with this one. This one's really good. This one is a lot better. This one is a lot better than the Green Label Rhythm. Uh, it does not beat Jazz by any means. Um, Jazz is my all-time favorite flavor. Um, and of course it can't beat the apple or the cream. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it an in inhale and see how that is. Still pretty good. Pretty good. I definitely Viper approve this one. Um, but like I said, it is way below Jazz. Way below that. If you, if any of you have ever tried Jazz from Black and Mild, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you have not tried Jazz from Black and Mild, I urge you to go out and get one and try it. If it's not available in your area, um, I'm pretty sure somebody somewhere can hook you up. I would say, you know, get a hold of me and I'd send you one, but then I get, you know, I'd have millions of people saying, oh, I can't get it in my area. Yeah, for some reason, you know, all these people would say, I can't get it, I can't get it, send me one, send me one. But it's been my ultimate goal to set up a uh, tobacco. Um, kind of website, you know, where everybody comes together, regardless of, you know, what tobacco you use, whether it be cigarillos, cigars, chewing tobacco, snuff, snooze, pipe tobacco, shisha, it doesn't matter. Just 
bring us all together so that way we can have strength in numbers, you know, we, be an open community. We talk about our favorite products, you know, we make friends. And like I said, you know, kind of like GoSmokeless.org, you know, that uh, Snoopy.com setup. You know, you make new friends and, you know, you know, you just tell somebody, hey, I've never tried snooze before. And if you've made friends with somebody, odds are somebody's willing to send you some for free. You know, or maybe you pay for the shipping. But it's been my goal to try and set up something like that to where I personally would talk to, you know, legislators and stuff to get them off of our backs and leave our products alone. Let us have our freedom, you know. Now they're starting to pass laws where it's they're making it illegal for you to smoke in a car with children. You know, we all grew up with that shit. We're human beings. This is planet Earth. This is not longevity planet, okay? I don't want to fucking live forever. My dad smoked in the truck while I rode in there with him. Big fucking deal. Who fucking cares? Now all of a sudden everybody's worried about secondhand smoke and cancer. You know what? Fuck you. Live in a fucking bubble. My buddy. I have friends that have kids. And, you know, they smoke in their vehicles with their kids. Their kids don't care. Of course, they smoke with the, you know, the windows down. They don't smoke with the windows up trying to hotbox it. That I can understand making it illegal. But as long as you've got a window down or cracked... It shouldn't be a problem. It should be made illegal. But yet they're trying to pass laws on it. But that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make one. I've already smoked a quarter of this, and it's still pretty damn good. I don't know what the flavor is. Like I said, it's like a cream almost. It's like some sort of cream. Very aromatic. So on that note, I will leave it at that. Definitely pick you up one. It's the Black and Mild Rhythm and Blues Edition. This is the uh, blues, not the rhythm. The green label. I guess the green label should have given been a dead giveaway. Green looks like puke. So, but anywho. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It's fun for the whole family, including Grandma, too. Sounds like the old lady's home. Be with you soon.